Hey guys, I'm at Shopify Dome 2.0 theme and today we will be discussing how to fix this button uh, layout on a mobile. So as you can see, I'm at blog feature blog section here and the view all button is displayed underneath this carousel. And uh, yeah, that's the button. If we switch to mobile, and if we scroll to the very same area, we see that it's now a text link, a hyperlink, and it's not below the slider arrows, but above it. So our goal is to show how to turn it into the button, so it'd be displayed the same way as any other buttons uh, on the home page, as well as to reposition it underneath the current arrows if needed. So. Uh, first step, we need to go to the current theme and go to edit code and find an appropriate liquid file. In this case, it will be blog. So let me see, yeah, the featured blog liquid. And let me remind me that I'm a dome 2.0 theme, but uh, other themes, I believe, should have pretty much the same functionality. So what we need to find is not sure what is that online store here is line 47 yeah you see this snippet and it says link underlined link so this code uh, we need to replace it with different class so i'm copying that over everything here paste it into my notepad uh, so it's looking like that then instead of this part link underline link i'm replacing it with this class button button primary uh, make sure to leave this large up height in class otherwise on the desktop you will have a duplicate button uh, okay so we have a ready snippet like that now uh, that snippet if we place it will not be displayed accurately and let me show you how. So uh, let me copy this class over and replace it in the live theme right there. Okay, link, underline link. Okay, let me save it and then refresh the page on mobile. Okay, so as you can see, the button now appears instead of the hyperlink text. So uh, first, task is fulfilled. Now, you may be okay with uh, showing like that, but my goal, my end goal would be to reposition that underneath these arrows. So the next thing we need to do, and I'm going back to my notepad, is wrap this uh, snippet that we created before, well, changed before, modified before, with DAV class and where I take this DAV class from. So I'm scrolling back to the very, uh, not to the very top, but right there where it says, one moment, please. Oh, my bad. Okay, you see DAV class title wrapper with link. So let me just copy over this whole class, okay? And uh, I will paste it just above my snippet right there well, like this and then we'll add the closing div tag so I'm copying that over and then I'm looking for slider component okay so I need to place all that after slider component so going back here I'm just uh, I need to delete this whole part from here, otherwise it will appear twice. So I'm deleting it from here. Okay, gone. Now I'm scrolling to bottom part of my liquid file. Okay, I see it around here, slider components, and I'm pasting it right there. Okay, let me save and refresh it on mobile simulator. And let's see what we've got. Okay, it looks like that. So we have instead of a hyperlink 
on mobile we have the button and we also have a reposition underneath the uh, yeah, slider arrows. Same thing works for uh, multi-column section, which I had pretty much the same uh, problem before. So I did pretty much the same, but editing the multi, yeah, multi-column liquid file. But the process is uh, exactly the same. Hope it helps. Thanks for watching.